The initial Singh lecture entitled The Telos of Religion and Culture and Interpretation was presented by Dr. Singh himself. The late Dr. Singh was Professor Emeritus of Christian Philosophy at the San Francisco Theological Seminary. He was Dean of the Seminary from 1972 to 1978 and was Professor at the GTU from 1962 to 1988. His publications included Prophetic Realism, Preface to Personality, Christology and Personality, Communism, Christianity and Democracy, and A Philosophy of Integral Relation. Dr. Singh was born into a Sikh family in Punjab, India and converted to Christianity at age 16. So his commitment to comparative religious thought and culture was derived from personal experience. Before arriving in the Bay Area in 1951, Dr. Singh served as a national secretary of the student Christian movement of New Zealand, India, Burma, and Sri Lanka. He held the position of professor of systematic theology and philosophy of religion at United Theological College, Saranpur, India. As a Bay Area resident, Dr. Singh was active in community affairs, including a Rotary Club partnership where he worked on a project that brought clean water to 100 villages in the Ganges Delta. We are honored to remember Dr. Singh today in presenting the annual Surjit Singh Lecture in Comparative Religious Thought and Culture. And we are really thrilled that Dr. Karen Barkey is here to present this year's lecture, Navigating Topographies of Belonging and Difference, Contemporary Shared Sacred Sites in the Mediterranean. Dr. Barkey is no stranger to the GTU community as she has so generously collaborated with a wide range of GTU faculty since she arrived in our neighborhood in 2016 to join the University of California Berkeley faculty. At UC Berkeley, Dr. Barkey is the Haas Distinguished Chair of Religious Diversity and Professor of Sociology. She is the Director of the Center for Democracy, Tolerance, Toleration and Religion and the co-director of the Berkeley Center for the Study of Religion. Dr. Barkey has been awarded the Germain Tillian Chair of Mediterranean Studies at the Institute for Advanced Studies of Aix-Marseille University for 2021-22. Dr. Barkey's recent work relates to issues of religious diversity and coexistence, with particular research on the question of shared sacred sites. She has co-curated several exhibitions on this topic published numerous articles and several books, including the co-edited volumes, Shared Sacred Sites, A Contemporary Pilgrimage, and Shared Sacred Sites in the Balkans and the Mediterranean, both uh, 2018, and choreographies of Shared Sacred Sites, Religion, Politics, and Conflict Resolution in 2016. You can expect yet another book, Negotiating Democracy and Religious Pluralism, India, Pakistan, and Turkey, to hit the shelves this June. As Dr. Barkey stated, in light of the predominant narratives of religious hatreds, conflict, and the decline of religious pluralism throughout the world, the existence of shared sacred sites that bring different re uh, religions together act as prescient reminders of the possibilities presented by tolerance. So we look forward to hearing more about it. And so I present to you Dr. Barkey. Karen. Thank you so much. I will share my screen so that I can start. It will take me a minute and we will get going. Okay. Uh, thank you, Elizabeth, for a really very, very nice introduction. And it's also an honor to be uh, the next person in a long uh, series of uh, talks uh, in honor of Dr. Surjit Singh. So I'm really happy to be here today. I wish I was in a, in a room with you all, but uh, instead I'm on a screen and I think it will continue for a while longer. So, um, I work on successful cases of religious pluralism in history and in contemporary, uh, in the contemporary world. Success rarely makes the news. Successful cases usually are the outcome of negotiated 
um, solutions between religious communities. And they usually demonstrate um, sustained periods of peaceful coexistence. I'm writing a book uh, right now as you know, uh, this in the next couple of years, where I want to emphasize uh, with the website and with the museum work that I've done up to now, uh, to present to the public an alternative narrative of religious conflict and open up a new discourse for possibilities of coexistence. And this book, I hope, will be more than just for an academic audience, that it will be uh, more for a general public. So let me uh, start by explaining some of what I am talking about more analytically, and then I'll give you examples. Religious pluralism for me is more than just mere demographic facts on the ground of groups that def are defined by difference living in the same territory. It is the acknowledgement of difference with a positive value attached to communities living together and respecting each other's space, time, and culture. Pluralism should also inspire people def defined by difference to learn about each other with commitment and dialogue. Religious pluralism also for me signifies many different religious groups living together, but also religious and secular people living together in harmony. So I look at both of this. The work on shared sacred sites is one part of a successful, of the successful pluralism project. And I will um, focus on that today. Shared sacred sites are holy for members of multiple religious groups and serve not only as places that people respect and visit in various ways, but also as places where they mediate and they negotiate their otherness. They are perfect examples of what in sociology a prominent uh, scholar Nancy Ammerman has called lived religion and advocates the study of lived religion by focusing on practice. These sites have been customary between Jews and Muslims and Christians in the Mediterranean and the Middle East. They're also found obviously uh, across the various cultures of Eastern and Southeastern Asian and South Asia also uh, countries. I will more, uh, mostly concentrate on a few cases in Istanbul, in Turkey and in Greece. This sharing is not an insignificant phenomenon. For the Ottoman Empire, the famous British archaeologist Frederick Hasluck traveled and made field observations from 1905 to 1915, compiled two volumes titled Christianity and Islam, a rich account of religious sites, churches, monasteries, mosques, tekkes, caves, sacred springs, where different faith communities prayed and interacted with each other. 